activists at the expense of their own fucking studies and their own health. Hmm. These people have to be I'm held to, a to account. Video. Sorry about These that. courses what? have Not to be enough. stopped. Minerals. They are actively detrimental to the students who are taking them. Not enough minerals. Just look at this. Not Just enough games, minerals. undergraduate students who use the pronouns Z, Zem, and Zir, even accounted suffering from what Z describes Not as a panic attack, related to Zir emotions uh, over the Daily Herald op-eds, adding minerals. that Z couldn't go to Not class for several minerals. days following the episode. Where the fuck do you think they're learning to act like this? Do you think her parents taught her to act like this? Do you think any part-time job is responsible for this? No. It's these fucking social science courses in the US. They are doing this to children. We have had people say, oh, these students aren't really adults, they're children, they haven't grown up yet, and fuck me, it looks that way. Given all the bullshit that's going on in universities, maybe we need to start treating the teachers as if they are abusing these children. The brainwashing they are undergoing is having a detrimental effect on the student's health and education. This needs to be stopped. And you're not thinking, come on, you're being hyperbolic, but I, I swear to you I'm not, right? Listen, this week, Harvard abolished the word master in its titles over a row about slavery. If master was a word that was derived from American slavery, you might be able to understand it. If master wasn't a ubiquitous word denoting seniority, I might also be able to agree. However, master comes from the Latin of magister, a chief, head, director, or teacher. It's actually exactly the right word to use when describing not these minerals. people. Harvard has not agreed that the use of master represented a link to slavery, but it has accepted campaigners' calls for a name change. For some reason. Why would you need to change it? It doesn't matter that they are saying, literally, that the word master now has connotations of slavery, but how the fuck have they come to this conclusion? Nobody else on earth thinks the word master means master of a slave. They think it just means master of a discipline. But for some reason, these idiots are actively protesting this word. Who has put this idea in their fucking heads? This is a consequence of their social justice indoctrination. When they say everything is racist, everything is sexist, everything is problematic, they mean it. They genuinely think things that would otherwise have been innocuous are suddenly part of a monolithic social system that is deeply oppressive to everyone who isn't a white man. These people genuinely seem to believe that their own agency is worthless. They genuinely seem to think that the things they do aren't wrong as long as they're doing them against the monolithic power structure. Anything becomes justified. This is why Melissa Click did what she did. This is why these Our New York SCVs students fabricated a attack. hate crime. Because apparently there aren't enough hate crimes against black people in this racist, white supremacist system. Even though if you were living in a system like that, they would be everywhere. What's it would be constant. You wouldn't have to fucking yep. make them up to have examples of them. The incident led to a rally on campus in support of black students in a statement from the university president expressing concern and anger about the report of attack. There was nothing for them to rally against, but these Not students have minerals. been sold a worldview so ridiculous Not that it doesn't minerals. matter if there isn't a direct incident to respond to. The system is the problem and therefore they morally are obliged to go out and protest and so it becomes okay to fake this if it means they can do a protest and fight What's the power of white supremacy. They have been taught to think in systems, as Anita Sarkeesian would describe it. They have been taught that their own agency means nothing. And so it is not bad for them to go around doing the things that they are doing because there is always the system above them, which is far worse. This kind of ridiculous propaganda is being taught in universities. Police now say that the three women assaulted another passenger were not subjected to racial epithets. The evidence shows, contrary to how the defendants originally portrayed things, these three individuals were not the victims of the crime. Rather, we allege that they are the perpetrators. Not enough Imagine assaulting not enough someone minerals. else and then running around saying that you were the victim of a hate crime. I'm actually going to be charitable and assume that these people are rational. They're not, not crazy. So what Not must you believe in order to justify required. that to yourself? And like I said in the last required. video, these things are constant. 
Ben Shapiro is now getting the same treatment that Milo did in his university appearances, where they try to shut them down. And he's right when he says that this is how the fascists do it. For fuck's sake. But they think this is justified. They think this is completely justified. It's not just okay to do it. It's necessary and desirable. And Let's this is what fight. makes you a good person. Like and that was at California State University, a place that didn't Ethnic even make the 10 worst colleges in America yes, for freedom of speech. This is how bad the problem has you become. And we're having the same boy. problem with the NUS and no platforming in the UK. This bullshit has to stop. We can't let a bunch of fucking children run around and tell everyone that their individual actions don't matter. Therefore, anything they do is acceptable. None of this is acceptable. It does not matter what your reasons for it are. What really worries me about these students and this attitude is what they would do if they had the power. How far would they feel justified in going towards someone who didn't share their views? Would they ever end up issuing a fatwa against someone who wrote a book they didn't like? Because it strikes me that you would issue a fatwa against Salman Rushdie for writing a book about a particularly contentious part of the Quran, yeah. at least named after it, for the same reasons that you would shut down someone speaking engagements to prevent the spread of their ideas. Research. Because, as far as you're concerned, Not enough. their ideas are dangerous to your ideology. So 40 state-run Iranian media outlets have jointly offered a new $600,000 bounty for the death of British Indian author Salman Rushdie, according to state-run files news agents. The fatwa was issued over blasphemy charges for his novel The Satanic Voices in 1989, and the Ayatollah calls for the death of the book's author along with anyone involved in its publication, and three people have been either attacked or murdered over the publication of this book. Rushdie was put under police protection by the British government and spent many years in that was never officially lifted. Namely, successfully confirmed in 2005 that the and that the new bounty is the largest organized effort to assassinate this future capital. I'm only just taking time to explain what the capital is. I'm not an expert, so I've just consulted Wikipedia, but I think it's probably not broadly accurate and will do for the purposes of this discussion. So, the fact that it is a rule on Sharia law by a learned Islamic scholar. There are all sorts of restrictions on who can issue these, and they're not legally binding. As I understand it, there's no obligation to follow these rules, so it seems like they're optional laws that people can choose to follow. They've been used since the early days of Islam as a part of Sharia law, which applies in full in Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. As far as I can tell, FCB most platforms are for really mundane things. So, here. the idea of a to sort of good. maintain the FCB ideology ready. of Islam, I can understand why Upgrade. it would be used Complete. and why they would consider to have them yeah, so. However, right. the scope of a fatwa and the ability for, say, the Iranian government to place one on an individual for blasphemy and actually have that result in people being killed and injured over it, really strikes me as just another one of those bad ideas that Islam Not has that needs to reform. Since we're on the subject of Islam, let's talk about the migrant crisis. Let's trigger Ben Affleck by talking about how Jude Law and his minders were attacked by Cali jungle migrants during a charity visit. So he was there with some of the celebrities who witnessed the horrors of the squalid makeshift village, which is due to be demolished. Well, I guess he really did. Because shortly after the camera stopped rolling, their minds were handled by some of the migrants who had their phones stolen. The first time the police were able to use the migrants to handle the phone. The security team had put stones thrown at them and the people had their phones smashed and stolen. The student time was set to the shortly before the ambush as the atmosphere was being ruined. Oh, what a bunch of them. Then Affleck's triggering Research. continues as we talk about the refugee team charged with the rape of a social worker after finishing course on how to behave with women. To be fair, there's not really all that much to be said about this, because it's not like you rape the screaming Allah Rath Bar as far as I'm aware. But this Afghan refugee just had his eye on this girl for quite some time, took this course and then decided to rape her. So I'm just going to blame her. Teaching men not to rape is only going to be the man who's going to be the man. Those men who are not bothered about raping people will literally go through a course on how to treat women and then rape the teacher. 
But remember that snitches get stitched, at least according to the German police. They're currently investigating to find out who the information about the road test Presumably to give him an award for being an honest man and he whistleblowing this to the public. He builds Apparently roaches. police recently launched an investigation to find out those who told him quote, secret OP. information without permission. Authorities are determined to find out how internal police reports became public. The Cologne police tried to deceive the public until the information from insiders was leaked to the media. Describing the investigation into the case as an absurd measure, the newspaper added that the authorities probably have nothing more to do, nothing more important to do than to search for the whistleblowers. Without the leaks from the police, the extent of the orgy would not have become known. Now, I'm sure only the terminally progressive and those police chiefs whose heads are on the line are in favour of police cover-ups, and not just because they're in abuse of power. When you're dealing with social issues like this, they always ferment under the surface. If you don't address them honestly, they grow and end up manifesting themselves in ways that are just as bad, at least on an individual level. Take, for example, the drunken racist mob who this week beat a Muslim grandfather of 81 to death as he walks to morning prayers. And this is after the court case that found one of the grooming gangs to be guilty. The assailant said that all Pakistanis are rapists, and decided that he was a groomer, and without a doubt paedophile, and therefore it's okay to beat him to death. Don't get me wrong, I am thrilled that these guys in the Rotherham case were arrested. But this took a long time, and many failures of the authorities to actually address people committing crimes before it happened. The reason this guy thinks this is because he has been exposed to people getting away with these crimes because they are Pakistani. The repeated failures of the authorities build this up in people. If these issues were being addressed honestly at the time that they happened, I don't think we would see nearly as many attacks on Muslims or just people who are genuinely racist towards people of Middle Eastern descent. But as I said, the authorities are finally doing something such as Asian sex abusers to be stripped of UK citizenship and deported. Personally, I'm in full support of this, and I am sure that not even the most pathologically progressive person would be opposed to deporting foreign nationals who have been convicted of raping children. I'm going to guess that the fact that they've written Asian-born sex abusers will be stripped of their citizenship and deported is how the Independent has represented it, rather than it being specifically powers to deport Asians only. Who are sex abusers. I don't want the, the legislation to target just Asian sex abusers of foreign nationality. I'd really like to deport any foreign national who commits sex crimes in the UK, and I'm more than happy for this rule to apply to me when I'm in a different country. If I go to a foreign country, live there for a while, and then sexually assault someone, I am fine with them deporting me back to my country of origin. Remember that this applies strictly to people with dual nationality, with two citizenships the country of their birth and the country they've moved to. It doesn't apply to the migrants in the migrant crisis, that's a different problem altogether. But on that note, Norway is actually forcibly removing 9,000 asylum seekers out of okay, the so what I told him was, I just said They're not actually giving them Norway. Because he says he doesn't know how to beat siege so tanks. I, I said, I, if I you scout tanks, Norway go for a more lingering really unit plan, look up some of the GSL games. Your isn't being indiscriminate well. it's just with his initial push, in. at least they're It was so gas-heavy with Roach, some map, Ravager, and Midas, and he didn't have very many units of either of them. He had very small numbers, so I was like, just going to walk over with this to Marines. And I told him to focus for either Roach, Ravager, and then expand, and then you can maybe text with the community to watch for their composition. A progressive so decides, maybe we should try and make things worse. I'm glad to help the guy. For who, you Poor might I mean, Well, just, for women, of rough. course. And then he felt bad. Should he we soften like, our approach okay. to female genital mutilation? Look at his APM. The snake no. in it. Why is... No problem, man.